hi guys welcome to my channel my name is lillian uja and today i want to be sharing with you a new pilot program it's called the new um, work permit innovation pilot stream and i want to share with you all about this new work permit that just been released by the canadian government i want you to watch this video to the very end so that you don't miss any vital information now what is innovation stream pilot now the innovation stream pilot is a new work permit released by the canadian government that allows certain canadian companies to hire highly skilled um foreign workers from outside canada into canada without an lmie now what is an lmie lmie means labor market impact assessment this is usually the the document that is needed by foreign workers to work in canada if they are employed by canadian employers but right now this new pilot stream is saying that you don't need an lmia to be eligible for this pilot jobs with no code 0123 are considered highly skilled roles and are qualified to be you know they are eligible for this program so it means that if your no code falls under zero one two or three then you are eligible to apply under this program I would drop the knock code to finder so that you can check to see if your knock falls within this category. You will find that knock code to finder in my description box below or in my pinned comments so that you can check. One notable aspect of this new pilot stream is that family members can also apply alongside the primary applicant and they'll be given an open work permit which allows them to work for any employer they choose to work for while they're in Canada. Now one thing you need to notice is that the pilot is going to run for two years but if you get um, if you get employed under this program you'll be given a five years employer specific work permit which allows you to work for only specific employers okay but your family members will be given an open work permit which allows them to work for any employer of their choice this program falls under the canada's hyper growth project you know canada is trying to you know create growth and encourage companies to employ foreign workers from who are highly skilled from outside the country to make impact here in Canada and they are trying to you know give their best or give them their support to these companies to help them scale you know while doing this like I explained to you earlier there's certain companies that are qualified under this hyper growth project okay and I'm going to be listing out those companies for you so that when you are seeking for employment you know the companies that fall under this categorization if you watch this video to this very point and you're finding value i want you to support me by liking my channel click on the like button support me by subscribing to my channel share my videos so that much people who need this information can get this information thank you for all the support the following companies have been selected for the canada hyper growth project the first one is ada the second one is alaya care the third one is cell Carter. fourth one is clarius the fifth one is clio the sixth one is DPG, Duchesne Pharmaceutical Group. The seventh one is Lightspeed and the eighth one is Vive. Now I'm going to put those things on my screen so that you can see the right spelling and then you'll be able to know the right companies I'm talking about. Now, employers from these companies are allowed are the ones qualified to employ foreign workers from across the globe and bring them to Canada throughout the you know the the length of this pilot which is going to run for two years i remember like i said you're going to be getting a five-year work you know employer specific work permit from this program now it is stated that innovation pilot stream would run for two years so it's going to end in march 2026 except otherwise stated but this is what has been stated so far now let's talk about the eligibility criteria okay we know that this program is for select employers in canada okay so what this means therefore is that you will first need to get a job offer from any of those companies i just listed once you get employed or once you get an employment offer from any of these companies you will then need to apply for an lmia exempt work permit through the ilcc secured portal you know once you have applied for that you have to wait okay for your for your application to be approved or decided on and then if you are approved then you can now move to canada if you're applying yourself you're moving alone but if you're applying with your family members then you'll be moving with 
your whole family and once you come in of course your family members if it's your spouse will be getting an open work permit and if you have children they'll be getting a study permit as the case may be. now let's talk about the length of time it can it might take you to process this application and get into canada we know that this is a like i said employer specific work permit and this is a new stream it's an innovative you know pilot stream and the government is trying to you know support these employers or you know to get talents from across the globe into canada so they're trying to make it as fast as it can be so if you're applying under the knock zero or one code if your knock falls under one or zero then your work permit processing might take as much as two weeks you know it means therefore that it might take you from the time of application getting a job and applying for your work permit it might be up to a month and you are on your way to canada because i'm trying to make it as fast as possible but if you're not cold falls on the two or three then you might have to do more than two weeks it might be more than a month as well so that that is not certain and i don't know why this um this differential there's this differential i don't understand why but this was what was stated by the immigration officer concerning this program so therefore to be eligible for this program number one you must have a job offer from any of these you know employers under the innovative pilot stream okay secondly the offer of employment must fall under the knock code or tier code zero one two or three thirdly the employer must be willing or ready to pay you a competitive wage salary that is common or prevalent amongst industry standards standards Fourthly, if you're already in Canada, okay, you must have a valid temporary resident status, okay? It must not be invalid. It must not be illegal. So you must have a valid temporary resident status to be qualified to apply under this program. So now I'm going to be reading out the current positions that are available under the innovative pilot stream, okay? I'll read out the current positions that are available right now. So if you fall under this, if you have experience under any of these you know positions or occupations you might want to apply okay so the first one is director of marketing this falls under tier code zero and um, we have business intelligence analyst it falls under tier one and we have data modeler it falls under tier one as well we have data scientist it falls under tier one we have in-house counsel it falls under tier one Computer systems and software developers, it falls under tier one. Cybersecurity specialists, it falls under tier one. Software engineers and designers, it falls under tier one. Workplace experience coordinator, it falls under tier three. So these are some of the occupations that are currently um, available. And so if you fall under, if you have experience under any of these um, occupations in demand, you can apply under the innovative pilot stream. Okay, you can also search for more positions, you know, more open positions at the hyper growth project companies using the links I'm going to be leaving in my description box. So if you want to search for other job openings, you can go to my description box and click on the links I'll be dropping so that you can you know, know if you have experience in those fields and then see if you can apply for this position. Guys, I trust that God will make a way for you. I trust that all your efforts will come to fruition. I do my best to bring out everything I see that is worthwhile, that will make sense to you and that can help you achieve your dreams of immigration. Let me read exactly how how it was stated by the immigration officer he says immigration refugees and citizenship canada ircc published updated instructions relating to its innovation stream pilot that will allow certain employers to hire highly skilled foreign talent and bring them to canada without a labor market impact assessment which is the lmia this new program is designed to support canada's innovative global hyper growth project so this is a new project that has been launched by the government of canada to see how they can bring highly talented individuals from across the globe into canada, canada to make an impact in the economy of canada so if you fall under any of these categories, you might want to take you know, a stand, you might want to apply and see if you'll be considered for these positions. <music>